welcome to Wedding Party, the show that's all about love. And now here's the star of Wedding Party, Al Hamill. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi there. Hi, Al. How oh, are you, you leap up there like Peter Pan. Uh, well, <laughs> hi, Tinkerbell. Sound of gun. Listen, Al, our first couple are Frida and Jim Flood. We'd like you to meet them right now. Hi. Welcome to our show. Thank you. Well, listen, we're going to have to make up our minds. One of us is going to have his arm around her, and I guess it's going to be you. So. How long <laughs> How long have you two been married? Well, we've been married five years. As a matter of fact, today's our wedding anniversary. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. How did you and Jim meet, Frida? Well, I was on vacation in London, and I went to a racetrack, but uh, I had never bet on a horse. So I turned around to this handsome fellow next to me, and I asked him, could he please help me? Why, why did you ask him to help you? Well, he said he was an expert. Mm, you were lucky to find an expert like that. How did you make out? We lost every race. <laughs> <laughs> Some expert. We'll be back to talk to these people a little bit more, and we'll do that right after this message. That girl has really got it. I got it. You got it? <laughs> and why not? She's so captivating, so provocative, uh, warm, sympathetic. So tender. They'll never bother me again, because if you do, I'm going to turn your name over to the New York Police Department, the Bureau of Immigration, the FBI, and the CRO. CIE. COL. CIA. She's so uh, eager, uh, industrious. Ah, oh, but that face. Well, one thing for sure. Marlo Thomas will make you fall for that girl in color on ABC. Anne Marie's boyfriend puts his romance to the test when he agrees to review her new play. Share the laughs in tonight's adventure. Hi, welcome back. Now, you said that you went to the racetrack and you looked for, he said he was an expert, you took his advice and you blew every race, right? Weren't you a little disillusioned with him? Oh, not at all, because uh, we held hands all day. I was very happy. Mm, how'd you feel, Jim? Oh, first rate. I asked her to marry me that very day. Just a minute. You lost all day on the horses, and then you ask a perfect stranger to marry you? Yes, but it's easier to pick women than horses. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? Well, she asked me my birthday, and I had to ask my mother the exact hour of when I was born. Why did you make him do that, Frida? Well, I wanted to set up his chart to see if I should marry him. Just a minute. You, you mean that you wouldn't have married him if his horoscope didn't match yours? No, not at all. You think I'm crazy? <laughs> no. You, you don't really believe in all that horoscope oh, stuff. Yes. You yes. do believe in it. I absolutely do. I've studied many years with professional astrologers. You're joking. Well, I'd hate to see you throw your money away, you know, on, on that sort of thing. Unless, of course, you're rich. Are you rich? No, not. What do you do for a living? I'm a professional astrologer. <laughs> Did you give her your birthday, Jim? Well, uh, I, had to, I had to go to City Hall because my mother couldn't remember the exact hour of when I was born. Why couldn't she remember? Well, she had 16 other children, too, <laughs> besides me. How old are they all? Well, she had them all spread out. I imagine she's a little spread out herself. <laughs> 16 children. Frida, yes. could, could astrology have predicted that she'd have had 16 children? Yes, as a matter of fact, I did her chart, and it did show up because she had Mars in the fifth house. Well, someone was in her house. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Well, what, did, uh, what did Jim's horoscope show? Well, Jim's chart showed that he was born on the cusp of Sagittarius. A Sagittarius on the cusp? What does that mean? Well, he was at the door of Sagittarius, meaning uh, that he was... Uh, Sagittarius is half horse and half man. At the door of the cusp. Sort of a cuspidor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're terrific, Jim. <laughs> we sting on an hour today? <laughs> what, what does all that mean? Well, it means that uh, he's half horse and half man. Half man and half horse? 
Well, all I can say is he's got a fantastic tailor. <laughs> Frida, how could the stars and the moon possibly affect your life? Well, uh, they affect you in a similar way that gravity does. Uh, the moon and the planets pull on your bloodstream. The moon and the planets pull on my bloodstream? Does that really affect me? Well, uh, can you imagine what would happen with the moon pulling on your bloodstream every day of your life? Yeah, give you tired blood. <laughs> <laughs> Frida, how do you make a living from astrology? Well, for one thing, I do have a column in the Putnam Review called uh, Heavens Above. And what do you put in your column? All little squibs about different signs and the daily horoscope and so forth. You know, some of these people with, with uh, extrasensory perception have used it to solve crimes and things like that. Have you ever used astrology that way? Yes. As a matter of fact, I was involved in a highly publicized case in New Jersey last year. Uh, someone was missing, and I predicted that the person uh, would be found uh, murdered and where and this is exactly what did happen. Do you ever give private consultations? Yes, I do. I have quite a few clients each week. H how much do you usually get for a reading? Between 30 and 50 dollars depending on the work involved. Boy, what kind of advice do people usually want? Well, many people are interested in business or romance. The women, of course, are mostly interested in romance. Mm -hmm. Uh, single girls want to know when they're getting married, and married women want to know why their husbands aren't affectionate. Well, do you find out why their husbands aren't more affectionate? Yes, as a matter of fact, uh, I did have a case last week where the woman wanted to know. Well, what did you tell her? Well, uh, her husband had a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> You can find that out <laughs> through astrology? Oh, yes. I've heard of that. They call it Telstar. <laughs> I hate sneaky stars. Listen, how can the stars tell if a married man has a girlfriend? Well, uh, that would take a very long time, but uh, I can tell something about you. <laughs> would you like to have your horoscope done slightly? My horoscope? Yes. No, I have not I've got anything to hide, but, you know, uh, what would you have to know about me? Well, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, when were you born and the place? But well, uh, sorry, go ahead. The place, but uh, before I came in, I asked your producer, so I did a little work on it already. Oh, oh good old Roy. <laughs> All right. Now, you want to you know uh, what again? Well, when were you born? Where? And where. W that's what I just said. <laughs> when and where. Where and when. Right. All right. I was born uh, in Toronto, Canada, in, on June 30th. Maybe I should call my mother. You guys are trying to with you, right. Jim. June 30th, 19... You don't, you don't have to give your age uh, if you don't want to. Oh, my. <laughs> Who's... I'm just ashamed of being 25. <laughs> okay, June 30th, and I was born, I know this, at 5.42 a.m. Anything else you want to know? No. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, you have a very fine mind and an outstanding personality. Oh. Oh. There's a lot to be said for this. Listen. <laughs> You're very creative and literary. Uh, you're uh, quite romantic. <laughs> this is a whole science. <laughs> you learn very fast, too, and have an excellent memory. Uh, you're very passionate. <laughs> this is just uncanny, the way she pinpoints all these things. <laughs> How could you possibly know that I'm passionate? You've been talking to my wife, right? No, not your wife. <laughs> Are we off the air yet? Oh, here come the judge. Here <laughs> No, actually, I've just been talking to the stars. Oh, you've been talking to the stars. No, that's not my wife. <laughs> well, w what else is in the stars? <laughs> well, uh, I hate to tell you, but you might be involved in a scandal next year. <laughs> Sometimes it just does get bigger than... 
you know, we possibly... Go on. Well, uh, you, you're very romantic, passionate, but you don't always control your emotions. Uh, I've just got to learn to control my passion, folks. <laughs> you well, have a vivid imagination, and you're looking for adventure constantly. Well, what makes you think that I'm going to be involved in a scandal? Well, all these things combined together uh, show this up. The possibility will happen next year to you. Can you imagine people believing this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe in astrology, Jim? Oh, yes. Uh, it's very uncanny. Uh, uh, she really can uncover quite a lot of things. You mean you can't have any secrets? Not too many, no. What, what type of work do you do, Jim? I'm a detective. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Frida, I've kidded you a little bit. A wonderful sport about it, and I know that many people believe in astrology, and I hope our little session here is interested in them. Now, tell me a little bit about that scandal. You were kidding, of course. No, I wasn't, really. Terrific. You hear that, dear? <laughs> we'll be back to play our game very shortly for a lot of gifts, and we'll do that right after this time. London girl. I change my looks to suit my mood with Yardley's super new lip polish, Slicker. Slicker under. Under my lipstick to soften the color. Slicker over. To light up my lips. Slicker alone. For moist, natural innocence. Under. Over. Alone. Get Slicker lip polish by Yardley of London. Yardley creates a look so new it's never happened to nails before. Slicker nail polish. Now you can shimmer your nails, not just paint them. All snowy, soft frost, see-through, shimmer with a bare sigh of color. New Slicker nail polish by Yardley. If anything can bring back the kiss on the hand, this is it. Is a hot water dishwashing detergent best for me? A live blouse. A blouse should look alive. I deserve special care. Please use cold water Woolite. But Woolite's for sweaters. Do. All hand washables. Safely soaks hand washables clean in minutes without harsh ingredients. Try me on. Beautiful. Told you. Woolite makes you look alive. Woolite. Boy, <laughs> on now. Would you believe that making our new bleach was easy compared to naming it? Someone suggested strong and safe, since our new bleach is safe, but not weak. It removes getting rough about it. Mm-hmm, very funny. Hmm, borax, right, because it has borax and two brighteners. Ah, perfect, day bright, because that's what our new bleach makes your clothes look like, day bright. Okay, now it's time to play our game. This should be kind of fun. Able to predict what he's going to select when he comes back out? I'll try very hard. All right, we'll see if you can. Take a look at our board, and here's round number one. First of all, we have a portable stereo. Next to that, an electric broom. And finally, an exerciser. Which one do you think Jim will pick? I think he would like the portable stereo. All right, the portable stereo. May we see round number two, please? Here we have a set of folding furniture. Next to that, an air conditioner. And finally, six pieces of luggage for both of you. What's your choice? Oh, I'd better take the luggage. The luggage, all right. Here's round number three. This is our third and final round. We have this deluxe kitchen range. Next to that, we have a china crystal and sterling silver flatware set. And finally, a clothes dryer. Which one do you think Jim will pick? I know what I would like, but... Uh well, maybe uh, we can talk to Jim about it when he comes back out. All right, let's take the range. The range. All right, Frida, why don't you stand over here? You've chosen the range, the luggage, and also the stereo. Would you send Jim back in, please? We'll see if you've predicted correctly, my dear. All right, welcome back. Hi, thank you. Now, you know the rules of the game? Uh, yes. Good. Take a look at our board, and here's round number one. Which one do you <coughs> think she chose? The exerciser, the portable stereo, or the electric broom? I would say the portable stereo. Okay. <laughs> What side are you born under? Well, Sagittarius on the cusp. Or nothing. <laughs> oh, of course. How could I have forgotten? <laughs> Here's round number two. My uh, sign was under the General Hospital. We have I six. Would say, uh, I haven't even said that. Uh, Come I on, Jim, give me a chance. Give a kid a break. We have six well, pieces of luggage. We have an air conditioner and some folding furniture. Now, Jim. Uh, 
I would say the falling furniture. Oh. Tell him. I don't dare. <laughs> no, really? You're kidding. I, I told him we never needed any luggage anymore. And you said that? <laughs> Face I'll up, when him. you get home, you're going to see a lot of stars. <laughs> I'm kidding. You better believe it. Oh, I do. <laughs> Take a look at our next round. We have a clothes dryer, deluxe kitchen range, and we have a set of China Sterling, China Sterling and Silver Crystal Flatware. Cha cha cha. Mm, that's something. I'll uh, I'll try to range. Johnny, would you tell us what they've won, please? Glad you are out. You've won the Singer three-speed stereo photograph lightweight and transistorized for instant warm-up. And its dual speakers may be separated up to nine. Yours from Singer. And you've won Magic, che Magic Chef's double oven gas range, lower oven with broiled removable Teflon lighters, mid-level burners. The I-level oven has slide-out rotisserie and bacon broil burners. And in addition, a gift set of colorful, luxurious guest towels, washable and color fast, made of 100% carefree cotton, the fiber you can trust. And another winning party extra, the Now Look. Energetic brings fit to high fashion. Women have changed, and so have energetics. Congratulations. Now, you did pretty well with the gifts, but do you think you can predict where you're going to go? I'm too excited to do any work. Well, let me predict it for you, my dear. You're going to go to Puerto Rico. Hey! Charlie, tell us about it. Yes, you will fly to Puerto Rico via Pan American, the world's most experienced airline. Pan Am makes the going great. And you'll vacation in San Juan at Puerto Rico's most elegant hotel, the Condado Beach. The biggest beach front on San Juan's Gold Coast. Bay pool and glittering nightclubs. Congratulations! Yeah. We'll be back with our next couple right after this message. breaks and the action starts well, let's, let's set it up can we set it up abc sports again prepares to bring you the unconventional exclusive techniques teamwork tons of equipment experience and unmatched creativity add up to superb coverage and commentary of championship golf three two one let's paint along with a crane anybody know it's Stand by to go to 14, yeah. We'll have to give them a roll cue on take two. This year, ABC Sports covers 13 top golf tournaments. Including the British Open, the PGA Championship, and starting tomorrow night, an unprecedented three-day coverage of the U.S. Open in color on ABC. Wedding party will return in just one minute. Judd for the defense. Defense that makes headlines. What are you honestly trying to do? Turn yourself into the biggest martyr since Joan of Arc was burned at the stake? Judd for the defense that stands between alleged crime and punishment. Between an accused murderer and the gas chamber. Well, I don't know about the liberal press, but I do know newspapermen. And they like their priests soft-spoken and entirely unacquainted with guns, ladies' boudoirs, and uh, dead boys. The right to proper notice of charges against him. The right to counsel. The right to confront and cross-examine witnesses. The right to silence under the privilege against self-incriminating. Headliner, courtroom fighter, Judd for the defense, in color on ABC. Tomorrow night at 10, 9 o'clock Central Time, Hello, great Chris Will, would you care to predict who our next couple is? <laughs> yes, Al, right now we'd like you to meet Peter Sturm from Ridgefield Park, New Jersey, and his fiancée, Susan Liss, who is from Elizabeth, New Jersey. Hi, welcome to our show. I'm terribly sorry, my dear. Did I run your stocking? No. No, you ran my shoe. <laughs> How long have you been engaged? Two years. And when are you getting married? Sunday. This Sunday? Are you excited? Oh, very. <laughs> yeah. Do you work, Susan? Yes, I do. How many, how many? Oh, about a dozen. Are you kidding? A dozen? 
What does Pete say? Oh, he's wonderful. He'll do anything for me. Yeah, but for, <laughs> for Pete's sake. <laughs> Pete, how would you feel about all those kids? Oh, I don't think I'd mind too much. Well, won't all that screaming and yelling get on your nerves? No, screaming and yelling doesn't bother me. What kind of work do you do? I'm a dentist. <laughs> you must remind me to stay out of your office. How long have you been practicing? Well, I'm not actually practicing yet. I'm right now in dental school. And when, when are you going to hang up your shingle? Well, that won't be for another couple of years, and then I probably have to go into the service for a couple of years after that. As what, a drill instructor? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Back. How much, how much money does a dentist make these days? Well, they can get anywhere from forty to 100000 or even better. A dentist makes from forty dollars to $100,000 a year? Oh, yes. There's gold in them in our cavities. <laughs> well, you'd think they'd at least buy some new magazines. Oh. Do you, you plan on specializing in, in dentistry? Well, in, probably in pedodontics, which is dentistry for children. Uh-huh. How do you, uh, su suppose I were uh, uh, a little boy and I walked into your office and I had a terrible toothache. Uh, what would you do? Like, for example, I'll play the little boy, all right? All right. I've got a toothache! Oh, that's all right. Don't worry about a thing. We'll have a lot of fun here this afternoon. Let's see what we can do about it, all right? Okay, let's... Let's just stand, well, I see you have some trouble with your, your arm over here. Let's see. Is there anything over here that could be causing a toothache? No, I don't think so over here. I don't know. It may not look very nice, but oh, it's good. Is there anything over here? <laughs> I don't see anything over here. Let's see if there's anything over here. Woo! Isn't this fun? <laughs> this is great. Oh, yes. Let's see what we have. Oh, <laughs> isn't it? Don't you love doing I hope my wife's not watching. Oh, this is the cause of the whole thing right here. Really? Oh, sure. You see, this causes toothaches in 50% of the cases. Uh, I, I think I smell smoke. <laughs> Did we get any complaints about uh, uh, rope burn? No, not too often. What are you doing down there? Oh, having fun, looking for cavities. Hey, what dental college do you go to? I can see them all now. Fantastic students. Oh, this is Never could fix teeth does a mean rope trick. Oh, do you, yes. Do you realize, do you, do you realize on Fire Island we'd be arrested for this? <laughs> Fire Island, it's <laughs> what, what, what are you doing? This is the silliest thing I've ever seen. Hey, come on, fella. <laughs> oh! Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you did, but you're out to treat my wife. <laughs> we'll be back very shortly to play our game for a whole lot of prizes, and we'll do it right after this message. Eddie Fisher plays host to Agnes Moorhead Saturday night. Okay, it's time to play our game. You know the rules of the game? Good. Please take a look at our board, and here's round number one. First of all, we have a Chinese dinner, an Italian dinner, and a Mexican dinner. And if your selection of food matches, you'll win a refrigerator freezer. Which one do you think you'll choose? The Chinese food, the Italian food, or the Mexican food? I think the Italian. The Italian. All right, let's take a look at round number two. Round number two, we have an outdoor portable gas-fired barbecue. We have a car air conditioner. And we have some carpeting for your home or apartment. The carpeting. The carpeting. All right, that's your second choice. Here's round number three. 
We have an inflatable sailboat, we have a console chord organ, and we have a modern Scandinavian style living room set. What's your choice? The organ? You're not sure about it. The organ? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think the so. organ. All right, you've chosen the organ, the carpeting, and also the Italian food for the refrigerator freezer. Why don't you stand over here? We send Pete back in, please. Hi, welcome back. Now, you know the rules of the game? Please take a look at our board and we'll show you round number one. First of all, we have three types of food, Italian food, Mexican food, and Chinese food. And if you coincide your choice with your ladies, you'll win a refrigerator freezer. Which one do you think she picked? Uh, I think she'd take um, an Italian dinner. That's right. Here's round number two. Round number two, we have a car air conditioner. We have some plush carpeting for your home or apartment. And we also have a gas-fired portable barbecue. Well, one thing I know we need, and that's carpeting. You're right again. Here's our final round. Let's see if we can make it three out of three. We have a chord organ. This is a console chord organ. We have a Scandinavian-style living room set, and we have an inflatable sailboat. Which one do you think she chose? Well, Susan's probably taking the That's game. right. That's three out of three. Charlie, what do they want? Now they've just won the new side-by-side -side combination tap and refrigerator freezer featuring library-type storage on the freezer door, automatic computer and quality kitchen appliances since 1881, and from banquet frozen food, delicious macaroni dinners, and a choice of many others, including the famous cooking bag dishes, banquet meat and fruit pies are deliciously famous and oh, so tasty. And you want a 9 by 12 foot Anatone quality carpet from Downs, made of 100% Cumulop Nylon Pile Broadloom, making Anatone resilient, moth and mildew proof, anti-allergenic too. And in addition from Dixie Cup, a family of Dixie Cup dispensers and an assortment of color coordinated face mats, all for outdoor or in-home entertaining. And you want a cop organ, selected from Spiegel, the famous mail order house. The Spiegel catalog features over 40,000 quality items. Spiegel, Chicago 9, Illinois. And in addition, seven gallons of Sherman Williams Super Chemtone wall paint. Dries fast, washable the easiest way to lovelier rooms. And another wedding party bonus. Passport 360 Men's Cologne and Aftershave from Van Usen. Passport 360 Men of Adventure, the first to last and last. Passport 360 by Van Usen. Congratulations. We'd also plan, incidentally, to give you a dozen jockey shorts, but with that trick, you really don't need it. Aside from all these gifts, we're going to send you to Miami Beach in Florida. Charlie, tell us all about it. Yes, you'll make this in Miami Beach in the Fountain Blue. In all the world, in any season, the most beautiful resort hotel anywhere. Fountain Blue, the largest resort convention hotel in the world. Congratulations! If you'd like to be a guest on Wedding Party, please send us your name and also your address. Tell us a little bit about yourself and mail to Wedding Party, Box 850, Ansonia Station, New York, New York. That's our show for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. We'll be back tomorrow at the same time. Till then, Al Hamill. Bye-bye. It's Dick Kevin and his guests, Bob Hope, Groucho Marx, and Woody Allen, creating a hilarious happening on Caput. The Dick Caput Special in color, tomorrow night at 7.30, 6.30 Central, TBC.